hello YouTube welcome back welcome back I know it's been a minute but today's gonna be like a drive with me video shout out to Eva because she actually told me that she was gonna do this video and I actually just watched her video and I was thinking you know what I'm gonna do the same thing because honestly I have been thinking so hard like I've been trying real hard to figure out how I was gonna do this life update for a while and I really like the flow of her video, you know, with the music playlist and she's just chit-chatting it up. So I got a few things I got to do today as well. Um, so I figured, hey, let me do a little music playlist and let me just catch y'all up on life. This life has just been lifing, y'all. Life has really been lifing and I'm just trying to get myself back on track and everything. Just get back focused. So, because I had a few setbacks which is to be expected since your girl likes to just casually move whenever the fuck she feels like it so i'm just gonna catch y'all up on life and we gonna drive and i'm gonna apologize to y'all in advance as well because the road rage is real it is real and these niggas in jacksonville they can't drive like they are fucking crazy so i'm just gonna apologize to y'all in advance for that because yeah but um anyway let's get started let me go ahead and play my first songy song so today's sunday and honestly y'all on sundays we play larry june okay so um for the first song it's gonna be a larry june song he has a really good song i'm trying to figure out which one i want to play oh let me turn that off Ooh, but should i play joey hmm which one do i want to play first by him all right, well, I'm gonna play water in my plants because that's like, even though it doesn't really, it's kind of gloomy outside, even though it's hot as hell, but it definitely doesn't fit um, water in my plants, but I'm gonna play that song anyway because I typically play Larry on Sundays. Chanel on my face, gotta block your hate. Meet me round seven, baby, don't be late. Yeah, let me go ahead. Oh no, man. I don't know, I think I be overthinking it, so never actually never mind. I'm not gonna say that because I feel like I overthink so much. But there's just like this particular <laughs> There's this particular car that I notice has been parking closer and closer to mine. Like I'm, I don't know, maybe I'm overthinking. I overthink a lot of stuff, so it could be just a coincidence. So for starters, it is um we're in February. We are in February, y'all. And okay, yeah. I'm gonna get too distracted doing this. Make a one time pause. All right. So we're in February. Um, Happy New Year. I know I didn't, nigga. I did not post anything about the New Year or anything like that. I don't. I like barely celebrated it to be honest. Um, I did like a little celebration like back in um december with eva hold on let me get on the highway first because i'm sorry Which is true, like I could, 
and everything but I don't know I just I, I guess a, a part of me like I do have trust issues but then there's also this part of me that does that I didn't really bring up to my dad I just kind of feel like I don't feel all the way safe with doing it because I guess a part of me still kind of feels like a burden or like well I don't want to talk about anything that's like not going well in my life because I don't know it just kind of everyone got shit going on you know so it's just like it's like we all going through stuff so what they need to listen to me for that's kind of how I feel about it but I don't know um it's like it's a shitty ass mindset to have I know but like I don't know I also got like really sick as well um and I like the thing is I'm like very this is gonna sound really weird but I'm like extremely in tune with my body okay I'm sorry oh my god Oh my fucking god. No. I'm putting my shit in sport now because y'all fucking playing. Y'all are fucking playing. Very, very in tune with my body. So I've noticed ever since I started my period, which was when I was 12 years old, um, I noticed like there are certain months where my period will be like insane, right? Like I will be out, like it will just be insane. I'll be hurting a lot, like just very, very sick basically, right? And then there are some months where it's like real easy going, whatever, not a big deal, right? What I noticed for January is not, I mean, January can be bad, but it's February, February for every year since I started my period. Um, February has been one of the worst months for my period and it's been like that every single year. So I got real sick and not only that as well it's like this time of year as well I get like really under the weather like symptoms of a cold but it's like not a cold um I get like the, I don't know maybe like the weather changes I don't really know but so I was dealing with a lot of that so I was like in bed for like three four days straight didn't really say much to anyone really really who's calling me so I was like really really sick and everything and that was like another reason why like I anyway so that's not the reason why like I just wasn't like you know um I, I fucking lost my train of thought so that was all that was just happening like I was very like shit was just happening in my personal life very uninspired unmotivated depressed as fuck I'm also like just in my head a lot about creating things too because which I have been I'm always in my head when it comes to creating things which is something that me and Eva have always talked about too because we, I guess we feel like maybe because we have a degree in this shit like we're just like being real extra about it instead of just doing it and just like posting so that was another thing too it was just like I have all these ideas there's a lot of things that I want to do but it's just okay <clears throat> sorry so it's like all these things that I want to do um but it's just like if it's not to my liking I kind of like shut down all right I'm gonna take my shit out of sport now yeah that was another thing like it was just like the creative blockage and being a perfectionist and it's just like well you got a degree in this shit so it's just like you want things to be perfect but that's just like kind of where I'm at but I feel a little better now I'm like not even at 100% but I have to pick myself up because I go through this a lot honestly I'm not gonna lie like I just get into these moments where I just it's like really chaotic and and when I get to these depressive modes I do shut down and I like isolate myself too which I've gotten a lot better over the years I don't isolate myself as much as I used to but this past time like that was the first time I did it in like maybe two three years like I was also talking to my dad about it and he was just like you know I really feel like what happened to you when you were in Ohio has a lot to do with your um, with your mental now and you probably even though like you're healed in some areas like I really feel like what they did to you really left a mark and I haven't really talked about you know that stuff on publicly like online and I did plan on talking about it at some point but not even from the point of like exposing so I will it's gonna say anonymous everything will when I finally do talk about it but um, I brought that part up because literally you guys literally a day or two ago like a day ago right when he told me this right 
because we were just having a conversation about a lot of stuff and then he brought up my experiences in Ohio um that's we were just talking and he was telling me he was just like yeah like I really feel like you know what they did to you just really left a mark on you mentally and I feel like that's and you really need to go to therapy to talk about it because I haven't really talked about it much you know in the beginning like I was talking about it at a place of like hurt and like oh I hate them niggas like whatever I'm healed from it but I still haven't been able to get creative in a very long time like I haven't reached that place of creativity that I once had when I was there and so um, my dad was like, you probably like just need to go to therapy and really talk about the creative aspect of it, you know, because I've been to therapy to talk about other things because, listen, I was attacking every area of my life. I felt like at that damn place, <laughs> like you don't even know, like when it comes to like my love life, friendships, um, colorism, racism, like just a bunch of different stuff, like and creativity so but specifically on the creativity part that's what we were talking about so that's what he was basically suggesting so i will you know I'll listen to my dad my dad's a cool kid one or two days later when i get back on social media because i get back on facebook first because i had to reach out to my friend about um, for something and i had deactivated everything so and he is not american so it's not like i could text him so i had to get on facebook and and i had messaged him while I was on, tell me why. <laughs> Do y'all know that trend um, where it's like, of course, they'd be like, I did such and such, or I went to such and such, of course, and then they'll say the experience. So I saw someone I went to school with, they posted, I went to school, of course, the leadership was messy. <laughs> and when I seen that, I was just like, oh, here we go. <laughs> I already knew what time it was because I get y'all not, I feel like every year that school, someone blasts them, whether it's on a live, a post, pictures, whatever. This one, this one was different because the previous years, it was like someone would blast them. Even when I was a student, you know, they'll be like, oh, ignore them. Oh, just block them. Oh, like just don't even acknowledge it. Or they'll try to hide behind Bible or scripture. Oh, they're participating in witchcraft. Oh, that's demonic. Oh, that's gossiping. Like, don't try to hide behind scriptures or they'll try to hide behind religion to to invalidate their experience. But this one was different, I feel like, because people that were normally quiet were speaking up and saying something. Professors were sharing, talking, commenting. Literally, the old dean, he commented and he was expressing how much... Um, how much he loves us and cares for us and he hopes that he prays that like we heal and we grow from the trauma that we've experienced like so many different people so it was different I didn't I only saw one person come to their defense like for me personally like I've never been the kind of person to like just straight up bash and even if they deserve it I solely focus on just speaking my truth or the truth really so like I never said anything I did share the post but like I kept it general because like I didn't want to partake in really talking about it too much on um, Facebook but like whenever I do talk about it like it's going to be from a place of just more so me speaking my truth people should be allowed to share their truth speak up because what happened to a lot of us was wrong as fuck this was like what four or five years ago for me for some others it was almost 10 years ago so it's like it's a lot but it's just like as long as like you're taking those active steps to you know not stay in that place of hurt and heal and grow like you know it should reflect you know and we shouldn't be told that we're bitter or we're holding on or harboring an unforgiveness and then hide behind scripture or religion just because like no like you should be allowed to speak your truth you know what I mean so I thought it was crazy that the school like this was it happens every year but for this year was different and it's just crazy to see all the stories like I saw stuff in there that I've never even heard before I'm just like damn and it's like it was just you know people who were actually like involved too who actually took it serious at one point when the time does come like whenever I get to that point I am going to share you know just like my experiences because I already planned on doing that 
but everything will be kept anonymous. It's not a secret, so it's like if you do know, like if you do enough research, I mean, unless if you know me personally, then you already know exactly what I'm, the fuck I'm talking about. But like for the ones who don't know me and you're like new here, but if you if you do like enough research, it's not hard to figure out what the fuck I'm talking about. I'm just not name dropping on my platform because I'm not really focusing on the people, just more so my experience. I am at my parents' house. I don't know where they're at, but I'm gonna head inside. Yeah, I will be back. So, oh, but wait, 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 wait. Before we do that, let me play another jammy jam. So what is another song? Babyface Ray. I freaking love him. I've been listening to this song. I've been listening to this song like lately. He's such a vibe with that bass too. Let me go. Um, I will catch y'all in a little bit. Give me about like, actually, y'all ain't gonna know. I'll be back. I'm gonna come back, but I went inside my parents' home, got me some ginger beer. The ginger beer is actually like really good, but I'm also like, I was honestly, I have been craving this ginger beer for a while, but it's like really good. I'm gonna go find some food because I'm hungry and um, yeah, I have not eaten anything and I hate finding food like this, but I'm gonna just get like a little snack. Hey, hey. I hate finding food like this because I'm trying to get better at eating right, but I'm really hungry so I think I'm just gonna get like a little snack. And yeah, I'm just gonna like a little snack. I just gotta figure out what that little snack is gonna be. But while we are searching for that little snack, let's go ahead and move on to the next topic. <laughs> so um, I kind of wanted to talk a little bit about my um, dating. Um, I don't know so for another goal that I guess I don't really mind sharing that I had for 2024 was I told myself I was going to put myself out there a little oh that scared me <laughs> anyway um but yeah I told myself I was gonna put myself out there just a little bit more when it came to like not even just like relationship wise but also like with friendships this is closer I don't know anyway and so like I wanted to do more like speak more like not necessarily like hold like a full-blown conversation and be all bubbly like oh my god hi but like um you know just because i don't know like if i see like neighbors in um the elevator or whatever just like hi how you doing good morning stuff like that like a little small talk here and there um i am not someone who shoots my shot i don't do that um, I've done it before and I don't have anything against it. It's just not me. Like I just would rather not do it. I've realized with me the reason why I've been so hesitant is just because I just I just don't trust niggas. Like that's just what it really comes down to. Like, like I love really hard y'all. Like I love so hard and I'm such a sweet girl. I'm so calm like and I'm such a lover girl. Okay and a lot of people wouldn't really know that about me unless like you know me because I'm I don't know I don't I guess I don't give off that vibe like off the surface but I really am like that I'm also very sensitive as well like I'm a sensitive ass bitch okay like and but I, I can't really explain it it's like I never really shown those sides to me because I feel like I just wasn't I was never in a safe space to be sensitive so I've always been sensitive and secret but to be honest, I'm very sensitive. I'm very sweet. I'm just very protective of that. It's just like, it's just hard for me. And I fully acknowledge that that's a lot on me. I do have standards and I do have a type as well that that's also important to me. Like now when it comes to my type, of course, like you, it's not gonna be 100% perfect, okay? But when it comes to my standards, there are some non-negotiables that I'm just not letting go of no matter what. And I just don't give a fuck. I feel like I'm all over the place. And also, I'm just, okay. all right, let me figure out what it is I, I want to eat. I think I'm probably going to get a Korean corn dog or something. 
from Sayoka. I liked her. But I just want to take a while though. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to just, them Korean corn dogs are, I'll, I can get one of those. That's, that's a good snack. It's going to take forever though, but that's a good snack. But anyway, let me get this thought out though. Yeah, after I really thought about it and just really got real with myself, um, I don't have a problem with being in a relationship. I think w the reason why I haven't really taken it a step further because I've had many opportunities to do so or whatever, but I just feel like I just have major, like, I, I hate seeing trust issues. It feels so cliche to say, but I'm just very like protective of my heart i'm very protective of my sensitivity and you know how i love on people so i think that's what it is but i told myself i was going to be a little more brave with it and just you know start responding back all i think about everything sometimes even when it comes to hitting someone up first and i be texting them like sometimes i will not text someone because I'm just like, well, what if they screenshot my text message and send it to the group chat with their niggas and they over here laughing at me and I'm looking stupid. After I got real with myself, I realized it is something that I do want, but it's just me. Like, I just don't, but I have an issue with trusting people in general, but especially when it comes to like romantic, like anything romantically, like, I, I don't know if that made any sense, but that's just like kind of where I'm at. So, I mean, I'm just chilling right now. Like, I'm not gonna put up with no bullshit, obviously. Like, I'm still, my standards are my standards. And any standard that I have of someone else, like, I expect, I expect them to look at me that same way. So, it's a, an accountability thing, you know. I'm not one of the people who just has all these crazy ass standards and I bring nothing to the table. It ain't like that, you know. Like, but I do have non-negotiables that I just will never, ever, like, I don't care. I don't, I you have to it is a must maybe one day i'll talk i'm not gonna talk about all of them but i might share a few one day if y'all are interested but i'm at sayoka so i'm gonna go ahead and get me i think i'm gonna get me a korean corn dog from there and i will see y'all when i get back okay i'm back you guys got me my little snacky snack oh it's i can't really see you but it's a Korean corn dog. I love these things. So good. They should have these at the fair. Whenever the fair comes. It's like hitting the spot right now. It's like exactly what I needed. Listen, that Korean corn dog was so freaking good. It reminds me of this spot in Tampa called Mochi Nut. They have a lot more uh, different flavors at that, at that spot because it's specifically for Korean corn dogs. And they have this hot Cheeto one. Bruh, fire. Literally so good. They have a talkie one too, but I'm not really into talkies that much. But it's still fire. So good. <laughs> Stupid potholes. Anyway. But yeah, so I think that's pretty much about it. Um, I hope literally like what I said like made sense. Um, yeah, I hope everything like what I said like makes sense. So, but I think I'm done talking. Um, so now um, I'm gonna show y'all kind of like a brief playlist of some of the stuff. I know I showed y'all a little bit, two songs earlier, but I've been listening to like a lot more songs. You know, I've just kind of been all over the place, but I definitely want to share my vibe with y'all, so. That's what y'all are gonna see starting now, I guess. <laughs> All right, so I'm parked here, but I'm just gonna go ahead and play some vibes that I've been like, you know, vibing to lately. I showed y'all two already, of course. On Sundays, we play Larry June. So I played Water in My Plants. That's a pretty popular one. <laughs> and then I also played um, that Baby Face Ray song. Um, waves on every chain. So, moving right along. Uh. Sorry, <laughs> I was listening to that earlier. But um, y'all all know Victoria Monet. Like she has really been. Like, she's been killing it. Your favorite color blue, cause you something like my crib tonight. You might not be the one, but I'm definitely the prototype. I was 
becoming like my new comfort artist, honestly. I kinda love me some Sabo. There's so many people working for me nowadays that I don't even know who I pay. Okay, I'm still right here beside you. Who gets sick of the costume? Morris, Coco, Morris, Coco, still tap in with your own. We're still in the U. I love me a good instrumental. Like, I don't know. Every time I hear this beat in particular, it takes me back to a place of like hella creativity. But this feels so nostalgic. I really like this song too. Ray Khalil, she's pretty dope. I first discovered Ray Khalil on that show, that rap show. The rap competition on Netflix, I forget the name of it, but Cardi B, Chance the Rapper, T.I. were the judges. Ray Khalil was on there and I thought she was tough. Father forgive me, I'm walking to something more to I've seen a lot of love, seen a lot that can break a man down. This is like become a new shower song. Shout out to Coco Jones, got her first Grammy. Love that for her. Victoria too. That is all for today's video. I really hope that y'all enjoyed it and I hope that y'all understood it too. I hope I wasn't like all over the place or whatever. And I hope that y'all enjoyed like the brief little playlist of some of the songs I've been listening to lately. Um, if you guys want more videos like this, let me know because yeah, maybe we could do like a drive with me series or something. But um, yeah, um, until next time, see y'all in the next video. And I hope that y'all have a wonderful day. I hope that you know y'all have a great week ahead and yeah i will see y'all in the next video bye